Hello, Alibi. Is it Alibiers? Are we calling our Alibiers? That's what I'm What's up, Alibiers? I'm Gigi for Root Loop. What you know? Did you know that the crown jewels contain the two biggest cut diamonds on earth? These what? are the ones that, yeah, the queen wears. They came from a Cullinan diamond, a 3,106 carat gem found in South Africa in 1905. So the largest stone is called the Great Star of Africa. It's in the Sovereign's Scepter, while the second largest is mounted in her state crown, the Imperial State Crown. That is interesting. Go look at a picture of it. It is huge. Yeah. I, I totally went to Titanic. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the Hope Diamond one time, like I think at the Smithsonian. Yeah. 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 Well, we could just sit here and dream about owning that. All right, so quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. You can go to twocooltshirtquilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis. Check them out. See what you can uh, come up with. So we're going to pick back up on the, these crazy, crazy texts. Um, my it goodness. Gets better. Okay, so if you're on YouTube, I'm going to show this picture real quick. This was posted in um, 50 Shades of Guilty. And, you know, this picture here of Lori kissing Tylee, yeah, it reminds me of like the kiss of Judas. Yeah. Man, yeah. that was not long before she was murdered. And just to see, um, you know, what's really sad is like, kind of looks like a normal picture you would see on anybody's Instagram. Yep. And it's just not. No, and, what we I mean, listen to these texts. There's no mention. No, her kids are the last thing on her mind at this point. It's very I mean, self while You get something about JJ, but that's it. Look, hey, I'm going to tell you. What? Janice sent me the pictures. We were talking about Janice, how she posed as Lori for Halloween. I'm going to print that out and put that in the studio because it that was just awesome. Yeah, so she sent them to us. So we're, we'll put them out so you can Oh, see. yeah, let's do. People are going to see it like at glance and be like, how is Lori outside the jail if exactly. they don't know about the pictures? She's not, guys. It's not her. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But Janice uh, could play her, definitely. Oh, yeah. They need to cast Janice as Lori. I'm going to... I'm going to put that out there. So we're going to pick up on these uh, texts. Yeah. And we're still. Zulema, they're going on a bit again about not being able to get on the Zoom call. Um, And this is May 7th. Dude, even translated beings have connection issues. Yeah. I feel much better. Well, I feel better because when I went to California, the cab driver told me that they had aliens out there. And that if I saw a green light to stay away from it. He was dead serious. Okay, I'm going to tell you, your driver stopped at the pot shop before he picked you up. Yeah. It's he proceeded to tell us. And he proceeded to sleep, and my aunt kept nudging me, saying, why are you talking to him? And I'm like, he's falling asleep. <laughs> I'm trying to keep him awake. Yeah. We know so, somebody that falls asleep while driving. We won't name names. Yeah. I've no, ridden with him many times. Yeah. Um, all right, so from Lori on May 7th, uh, well, we started a huge storm in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it started about noon, four hours after we finished. It's lightning and thunder and rain and wind. Oh, my. Uh, it's the whole state. There was not supposed to be rain today. I love it. You are powerful. The same thing happened here. Lori responds, maybe we should say we are spiritually starting a storm. Ha ha. Right. LOL. So we jump from May the 7th to May the 8th. And Zulema says, today I found out that it is our high vibrational frequencies that are interfering with our devices. We have to increase the vibration in our devices so they can handle our vibration. Then we send a ball of fire down the connection line and get rid of all the interfering from the enemy. Lori responds, cool, exclamation. That's awesome. I love it. I was given something really special at the temple today because my vibration reached a new level. It's amazing. Can you tell me about it? It's so exciting. We're going to jump. That was May 8th. So May 22nd, we're jumping. Uh, Charles had filed for divorce on May 11th. Uh, Coming up, Lori is going to be visiting in Phoenix with her friends. This is when she does the podcast with Melanie Gim and then meets up with Zulema. So that's what's coming. Um, so we jump 
what are they doing talking on other phones probably but quick question is this when they do the podcast when chad's visiting or no no okay that's later on all right gotcha yep um that's actually at the uh, i think it's the end of the month um so it's close but um okay so she responds Lori responds hello beautiful how are you i've been thinking of you constantly the last three days I'm going to be coming into town next week and I want to get together just me and you if possible. So let me know what your week looks like next week before Thursday. We have lots to catch up on. I've been missing you so much, but calling you spiritually every day for this work and you are always there. So we know there's a 14 day window where she doesn't communicate at all. Yep. All right, so Zulema texts back, I've been thinking a lot about you the past two days. That sounds fantastic. Would love to see you, and I have so much to tell you. You tell me when, and I will fix my schedule to fit our meeting. Lori responds, okay, I'll try and figure a good time for us, hopefully like Monday night. Not sure if that would work for you. I know you usually have grandkids on Sunday night. Uh, Lori again says, let me know if you can talk for a few minutes. This is the next day. And Zulema says, give me a second. Lori says, okay, I'll call you in about five minutes. So Zulema says, okay, anytime, I'm ready now. And then Zulema says, I'll call you right back. <laughs> oh, here we go again from Lori. Perf. <laughs> oh, Lori how, again. How much of an effort is it to put the ECT at the end? Yeah. I'm not a, the only two letters I normally abbreviate is U and R. Like, I don't abbreviate anything else. Yeah, you do. You and R. Yeah, I do. You are. But other than that, I spell it all out. Yeah. I don't want to forget how to spell. You know, that's why kids can't spell these days. Oh, for sure. They're not even teaching my kid cursive. It's crazy. No, no you can't read it. They're not going to be able to read the Constitution. She tried to write cursive. I was like, it's just a bunch uh -huh. of lines together. Yeah. All right. So from Lori. Okay. So whatever works for you. How about a phone call tonight? Maybe I have some work for us to do. Zulema says my kids will be over tomorrow dinner. So Monday will work best for us to meet. Do you have a time in mind? Then outgoing the same day. This is just a couple of minutes later. Yes, we can do that. I'm going to the temple at five. So a little after six would be perfect. From Lori. Yes. Perfect. Call me when you get out. Happy. Okay. Fun. And then uh, the same day, hello, beautiful, just left the temple. Uh, this is from Lori, call me. Two days later, we're jumping from the 25th to the 27th. Good morning, my kids stayed here until 10 last night. I didn't get to bed till super late. I have today available for us to meet at any time that's best for you. Uh, from Lori, recording a podcast right now. How about at noon? I could come over there at Melanie's now. Would that work? Noon works. I'll be ready. Now, yeah. Uh, oh, that's me. Perfect. She spelled it out that time because she heard you say that. <laughs> yeah. She knew you were going to say that. Uh, oh, she, my gosh. Lori then replies, on my way. Okay. So we're jumping to the next day, the 28th. Serena had her session with Stacy this morning. She told Serena Satan was upset about the knowledge she was getting and a lot of other things too long to text. Can you check to see how she's doing? Lori responds, I will. Garrett was out for almost two minutes and crawled back in. We need to do it again, maybe tomorrow. Now, on this day, she is traveling from Phoenix to Salt Lake City. Mm. Uh, that's you. Yep. Okay. So, uh, oh my goodness. I have time tomorrow morning before 9.30 a.m. Do you want to meet at the temple early? My house? Ooh. From Lori, that would be great. What do you think, house or temple? I think that temple would be stronger and more powerful. Okay, so we had uh, a listener reach out to us, and I'm not going to give names or anything, but she said she went to church with Zulema and Melanie Gibb, I think it was. And I asked her, she hasn't responded, but I asked her how how does that make you feel? And there's probably other people who listen who were the, in the same boat. How does that make you feel to know this is what was going on? Like 
this is what was going on behind scenes in your place of worship. How does that make you feel? Like, you I, know mean, I mean, I, you would almost feel like they have disrespected or desecrated a sacred space because, you know, yeah, at the heart of it, people that go to church want to keep that space free from stuff like this because yeah. I know some religions feel like this could invite evil into the church. I'm sure. They probably saged the heck out of any place that these people stood in these temples or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It would just be, I think it'd be weird. Like, yeah. you know, all the people, um, the LDS religion who've, who've worshiped and not killed anybody. Right. Which is um, majority. Yeah. I mean, for me, it would be like a slap in the face that this is what you're doing, you know, in in our place of worship. But uh, at the same time, if you look throughout history, some really messed up stuff's been done in the name of religion since yeah. religion came to be. Yeah. It's, but this is just so amateurish. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's so insane. far out there. So yeah, far. it's, it's yeah. Out to lunch. So on the 28th, same day, seven thirty eight. Yes. Meet in the celestial room. Um, Zulema had said, I think the temple would be stronger and more powerful. Uh, yeah. Yep. So that's you again. Oh, yeah. Let, um, where, um, 7.30. Yeah, 7.30, 8, yes, meet in the celestial room. Uh, Lori says, let's try for 8. Okay, that sounds perfect. That should give us enough time. I'm on my way to the temple. This was the next day. So that was the 28th. On the 29th, she says, I'm on my way to the temple. And that was at 7.52 a.m. And then yeah. uh, she says, I'm here and on my way in, I'll meet you upstairs. And then on a couple of hours later on the 29th, I will go in spirit when the bombs go, when the bomb goes off and I'll be there to see JJ's spirit go to the presence of the Lord. Then I am the angel. Then I and the angels will protect the bodies and not allow for them to be possessed by evil. So, I mean, like this here is what makes my blood boil mm -hmm. because I know she can't get charged for creating imaginary scenarios in her head that are never actually like what she's talking about here would hurt JJ, but it furthers that thing in Lori's brain that makes her think that this is all real. And You're she's so nonchalant it. talking yeah. about, I will be there to see yeah. JJ's spirit go to the mm -hmm. Lord. That's just messed up, man. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so from Lori, she responds, perfect. I found out there are four. One is a level four entity. His name is Iplos. The H is silent. The other three are level threes. Let's do this. And if you remember, that's who they were saying uh, Charles was eventually. Right. So uh, the same day, Zulema says, I encapsulated them with invisible hidden capsules that will close and capture them as soon as the bombs goes bomb goes off. And they leave the body. I also created a safe path guarded by warrior angels for Jonas to come and bind and take them away as soon as they exit the body. I have a good feeling of this. I saw myself protecting the bodies. Lori responds, I could not love you more right now. You are an amazing goddess. You know, this is all love bombing. Um, this is manipulation at a very basic level almost where, oh my God, you're the best. You're so amazing. And this just enables more of this nonsense. Yeah. Exactly. While bringing these people in deeper, like Melanie Gibbs, she talked about the love bombing. It's so well, eventually they talk about when, so you see, you've seen all this communication. Well, then they eventually talk about there's no communication. Mm -hmm. So if you remember, like they got dropped. Yep. Um, so I can understand why, and I'm not, may, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for Zulema at all. No. But I'm saying you've been fed all this stuff mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you have no contact at all. Well, and, and if you look, it was really after they got married, they kind of yeah. got to that point to where everybody was out of the way. They yep. get married in Hawaii, and then it's kind of like, okay, y'all do your thing there. We're here. And you kind of, unless yeah. we find out more at the trial, it seems like 
the end result Lori got was mm-hmm. we're married. I'm with Chad. Bye y'all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, okay. It's your, your go. Yep. So same day I'll be at the temple in the morning about 8 a.m. In case you're going to the temple tomorrow too. Are you busy tomorrow? I have to do reports, but I can get away to do lunch. We jumped a day there. Yep. To the so 30th. May 30th from Lori. I can't thank you enough for being such an amazing warrior goddess. Now, the next, no, same day, a little bit later from Lori. I would love it, but I'm out of town. I'm not going to the conference, but thought it was important to my friendship with Melanie to go to Utah with her. I'm hoping to have a reason soon to have to go back to Texas, working on that now. I'm told he can't stay in there more than five days, so it has been two. I'm told our time bomb is in effect, and it's only a matter of time and circumstance. Okay, this time right here, around this time, I think it was like May 31st. This is when Chad, so May 31st, Chad Daybell cancels his speaking gig at preparing a people conference. Remember it was like due to a family emergency. Yep. So he cancels that, but then we know Lori flew into Salt Lake city. Yep. So it's almost like that conference didn't line up with what he had going on with her. So if you remember David Warwick and uh, Sean little bear spoke at that conference. Yep. So Lori says again, I've also found out some other great info and your revelation yesterday about hidden entities and deeply hidden entities was the key. Again, you are amazing, Zulema. I just love you so much. I cannot do all of this without you. Let's talk on the phone tonight if you can, probably after eight. And then uh, same day, Zulema, I'll be available at 8.30 p.m. to talk. I'll text you as soon as I get out of my meeting. Then the same night at 5.01, I have a feeling that you will have a reason to go back very soon. I'm continuing to send storms of fire, fire lightning, fire balls, the light of Christ, and the love of HF, Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father. as our biggest weapons against them soon, very soon. Same day, Zulema says, Serena's fever is back. Is she being attacked again? Well, clearly by something viral. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you're sick. So Lori responds, I'll work on her. Thank you. And then uh, can you talk? Lori says, sure, call me. And then uh, the next day, can you talk? Sure, call me. My son-in-law is a 4.2 dark. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. Wilt thou come? Compass him with a shield. We can ask for the Lord's shield to be upon us. Lori responds, love it. All right. So we're going into June the 1st. And just for context, we got a month and 10 days before Charles is murdered. Mm -hmm. And then Zulema to Lori, can you talk? Uh, I can now. Can you call me? Sorry, I was working and I missed your text. Are you still available? From Lori, but this is actually from Chad. I remember meeting Julie. She is a 4.3 light, third creation. Sounds like she has some great gifts. Again, from Lori, maybe we can do a call tonight at 11 and get him out. Would that work for you? And Zulema says she's multiple creations. Um, From Lori, I guess so. He is going to check on her connection to use to us in past probations. And that he's remember he was checking, they knew so and so, so and so, so and so. Yep. Um, Lori responds, she is exalted like us. Uh, we think there are 144 of the multiple creations on earth, and we are trying to identify them. Can you do 11 tonight? Yes, of course. And then she says, Sorry, Nicole and Christina are here, and I didn't hear your text. Perfect. I'll call you. And then she's Zulema the next day on June the 2nd. Oh my goodness. I was dying in testimony meeting today. The Bishop went on and on about the man that takes care of the grounds for girls camps. Not one mention of the savior. I had to leave with the little woman symbol. So Lori responds. It's so hard. I called you 
because I'm standing in the mountain where we did the ordinance. This was interesting to me. I had you put the healing love abs light into her. I cried. It was touching so much better than church. That that line there, I called you because I'm standing in the mountain where we did the ordinance. What ordinance did you perform? <laughs> Also, during this time, Lori's getting ready to move back to Houston with Charles. Jeez Louise. I, it's just like, oh my God. I, like, as if I couldn't feel worse for Charles, yeah. reading these texts, like, drove it home. That yeah. poor man. Yeah. So, Lori again says, this is where I'm standing. I assume there's a picture sent somewhere. Somewhere. And Zulema says the ordinance to help the earth have the earthquake. Reading visions of glory is better than church. And then she says, that's a beautiful view. So we're still the same day. I had a thought yesterday. The reason why my son-in-law is feeling so lost and being so aggressive is because he doesn't have any disembodies to talking to him and keeping him company. Lori responds. Yes, exactly. Makes sense. Lori responds, yes, it does. Let's put some fire energy towards Iplos now. He is driving now, and today is the day. I and I can can do it spiritually. Let's go to him and hover over the truck till we do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Lori says, let's go now. That is powerful. I'm sending fire. I want to be on a fly on the wall. What I mean, are they like acting it out? Like <laughs> jump around? Like, uh, you know, it's it's funny, but it's not because the intent yeah. was to hurt Charles and JJ. It's ridiculous. It, it's really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. I've seen people talk like this, but after they dropped some bad acid in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Lori responds, Yes, it is. I'm blinding him with light. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Lori says, I'm feeling it big time. Raphael is with us. That was I feel him. Uh, Lori responds, did he leave? I can't see him. I felt like I was chasing him because I saw me running after someone. Get him. Oh, I'm chasing. It's like a bad dream when you wake up and you've run nine miles, you know? Somebody <laughs> chasing you in your sleep. And you wake <laughs> up and you like fall out to bed because somebody chasing you. Oh, man. Yeah. I tell you, that's the only place I run nine, nine miles is in my dreams. Yeah. No, if you see me running, you better run, too, because something's after me. Exactly. Uh, and yeah. then I just got to trip you up, and I'm yeah. home free. You ain't got to win the race. That's what I tell my hiking buddies. Yep. I ain't got to – I just got to be faster than one of you if a bear's after me. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, okay, from Lori, you're, you are amazing, lady. I love you. I'm tired now, LOL. Uh, Lori says, me too. I'll keep the light abs fire going till he's gone. Me too. I'm sending it. So that's a good place to stop, I think. Yeah, Lori so sends back the three little female symbols or whatever. Yeah. Um, so we still have ways to go with these texts. Um, I'm telling you, that ordinance statement, like, I'm like, what? What in the world? What is that? Like, what yeah. did they do? Yeah. Obviously, they're standing at a mountain somewhere. And they perform some kind of ordinance or whatever. I wonder. So, at this point, she's almost going back to Houston. I wonder where she was before that. Was she in Arizona? Was Yeah, I think she was in Arizona. Yeah, so. Yeah. Odd as gods. Um, all right. Well, we're going to wrap this up for today. And... The plan right now is not to have an episode tomorrow on Friday. We both got some things to do. If anything crazy happens, I, I can hop on um, if something comes up about her competency. Um, so anyways, hope you guys have a good weekend. We'll be back with you on Monday and take care. See you soon.